Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So with this video, we are going to talk about that how to create different types of object in JavaScript. So what exactly I'm going to do that? Let's see, this is my folder and uh, let me create a new file here. Let's see, uh, object uh, create.js file. So there are various types of creating the object in JavaScript. Object will hold some information. Let's see, user object or person object or car uh, object. You can create the object with the class also, with the literals also, with the and with the help of some templates also we can do that. So let's see the first way of creating it. It's very important chapter and then you can use the different types of object creation according to your use case. So we are going to talk about help with the help of literals. Literals means whenever you are creating the object, you have to write with the curly braces here like that. So for example, let's say I'm going to create one person object or any user object, which is equal to starting curly bracket and then ending curly bracket here. And then I'm defining some properties here with the help of some key and value pair format. For example, name is equal to, let's see, Michael. So name colon that you have to write age is 25 and let's say country is equal to USA or uh, anything that else you want to write, let's see occupation. Here I'm writing the occupation of this particular user. Let's see, I'm writing, uh, let's see, engineer, something like this, right? So these are the four different properties for this particular object that I have created here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do that, make sure that, okay, you are writing every key is separated with the comma also. Now, if I really want to fetch some information for this particular user object, how to use this? For example, let's see if I'm writing that console.log and give me this particular user dot. So you have to use that dot notation and whatever the specific property that you really want to access or any variable of this particular object you want to access. For example, give me the user dot name. So user dot name will give you what it will give you the user name. It will give you Michael here. So let me run it. This object create.js file. So let's write node this one. And then you can see Michael, it's printing it on the console. Same way, if you really want to fetch some any other information, for example, I really want to uh, fetch its occupation and then let's run it again. And then you can say occupation is engineer here like that. So simple, this is the simplest way of creating the object here like this. Then the second way is very important with the help of constructor function, you can use this. Okay, so how to create a constructor function? So constructor function, see this create carefully. So I'm writing this is a function and then you create, tell me the entity or tell me the category of which category that object you really want to create. For example, let's see if I really want to create the object of the car. So you simply write function car and then you can give number of variables over here in this particular constructor. So this will be called a constructor function. You cannot say that, okay, this is a car class constructor. We will say that this is my constructor function. So let's see in the car, I'm passing three different parameters. For example, let's see brand and then I'm writing model and then the price. And now we have to use what we have to use one, this keyword, this dot, and then we have to initialize these variables. It's brand actually how to initialize it. So simple, write This dot brand is equal to brand here. Okay, see, I'm not using any concept of class here. So this dot brand equal to brand. It means whenever I'm calling this particular constructor function, I have to supply, let's see the brand, whatever the company brand of this particular car and the same brand will be given to this particular instance variable here. You can say that. So now I'm writing this dot a model is equal to model. And now I'm writing this dot a price, which is equal to a price three variables. Let's see, we have declared here like this. And then I'm going to create the instance of the object using the constructor function. So how to create that simple. So I'm writing new keyword here and then I'm going to call this particular constructor here like this. And then we have to supply three values that brand model and the price. For example, let's see if I'm passing the brand is BMW. The model is uh, let's see 520 uh, D again. I'm writing, let's see in double quote. And then what is the price? Let's see price that I'm writing. Uh, 10,000, something like this here. And then I'm going to assign this entire object creation in some variable. For example, let's see constant a C1 variable, which is equal to this. And now with the help of console.log, let me just print some value of 
with the help of c1 dot which value you really want to access so let's say i really want to access the brand so brand will give you what brand will give you bmw so what is happening here that i'm calling the constructor function and then it will call this particular constructor function bmw will be given to brand 520db model and the price will be given to this and then automatically these instance variables will be initialized and you can say the constructor function variables will be initialized and with the help of this a new car i can initialize it and then i can assign it to the constant variable or any variable that you really want to assign which is representing this particular object here that you have created and then i can access c1.brand c1.model price anything that you really want to print it on the console so let's see i'm writing c1.brand and let's see i'm appending with something let's see with some space and then i'm writing c1.model <clears throat> then again i'm putting some space and then i'm writing c1. Dot a price information here and when i run this program let's see what happens now you can say that bmw 520t 10000 is getting printed on the console so if you really want to create n number of objects you can create that for example let's say i'm going to create now n number of objects and then let's see again i'm initializing a constructor or create uh, calling this particular constructor this time i'm passing something else let's say i'm passing audi and then i'm here i'm writing let's see audi uh let's see a uh, q7 and then the price is let's see fifteen thousand like that then in that case if i really want to access the information with the c2 let's do that so in that case again i'm printing with the uh, c2 here like this so let's see c2 dot brand c2 dot model and then the c2 dot price here okay so let's run it again and now you can see that the second information is also getting printed on the console pretty simple like that so this is about the constructor function now we can use the third one also that is called the with the help of some class class style also we can use it it means we are going to create a a typical class here okay let's see so here i'm going to create one class and let's see the class name is the customer class let's see any e-commerce customer that i really want to create that and now with the help of this particular class i can create a constructor also right so here it's not like java that every constructor will have the same name as the class name you just need to write this constructor keyword here so see simple write constructor and then in this particular constructor you have to tell that how many variables that you really want to define so let's see for this particular customer i really want to define that uh, two values that every customer will have its name and the, every customer will have its uh, product name also or let's see product also so give me the name and the product that customer is using or customer is added in the cart let's see in any e-commerce application then again i'm writing this a dot same thing name is equal to name and then i'm writing this a dot a product which is equal to product here now like this so let's see this is the class that i created with one constructor over here and let's see in this particular class that i'm writing one um, product also, or one method also let's see add to cart or or uh, let's see print or uh, let's see print uh, or let's see simple writing one method any method right now it doesn't matter let's see cart method that we have created and then here i'm printing that <clears throat> console.log something that add to cart whatever the cart information that we are having added to cart it means name and the product added to cart or you can just simple say that only product we have to add so simple write that same thing this dot product added to this particular cart here so let's see this is a simple basic message i have printed in this particular cart function add to cart function now i really want to create the instance of the class so how to create that so i'm going to create the instance means object of the class how to create this simple same thing new keyword that we have to use it here so see i'm writing the new and the customer that i'm giving and here we have to supply because the moment i call the constructor the constructor will be called because when we create the instance of the class or we create the object of the class the respective constructor will be called and then it will come here and this constructor will be called from here and then we have to supply what give me the name and the product here so let's see i'm giving some name customer name is let's see naveen here and the product that i'm writing let's see something apple macbook that i really want to purchase apple macbook pro here okay and then 
when we create the object of the customer i can store it in some variable for example let's see i can uh, reference variable that i can create which is pointing to this particular instance of the object or instance of the class actually so let's see here i'm writing customer number one which is equal to this here like that okay then after that how will you access the value with the customer one so here i'm writing let's see console.log and this is my customer number one dot what and now whatever the variable that you have defined here this name and the product the name and the product will be initialized with naveen and the product that you have supplied and now if i really want to access that so simple write customer dot a name here and then i really want to print that once again that console dot log and then customer number one dot give me the product also here perfect and i after that i really want to call add to cart product as well so how to call the add to cart product same thing that you can use this particular customer number one and then add to cart because this method is what non-static so we have to access with the help of object reference name that we have created or instance name that we have created over here okay so if you try to call let's see without customer one if you try to call let's see that also can be called or not but that type of a method we can create with the static that i'll tell you in the next chapter right now i'm using with the uh, instance name only that we have created so let's see what exactly it is printing let me clear the console and then i'm running it again so here you can see that because of line number 39 it's printing the customer name is naveen and then after that it's printing uh, apple macbook the product name and then we are calling add to card it's printing that the product added to the card it means apple macbook added to the card or to cart here like this okay so this is how also we can create the object with the help of classes here in javascript good thing is that if you don't want to use the class without class also you can directly create the object here like this you can create the object with the help of directly with the constructor function also which will behave like a constructor without class that also you can do it here but if you really want to use a, a typical class a structure then you can use it like this also that way we use in other object oriented programming languages like java and c sharp then there is one more thing that we can use it here that is called with the help of object dot create method okay see this this is also uh, interesting to know object dot create method what we can do object dot create method allows you to create an object with a specified prototype object okay so here we have to use i'm writing with some prototype okay with some prototype object we are going to use it it means the object the prototype of the object first we create let's see i'm going to create one variable here let's see i really want to create one employee prototype so here i'm writing let's see this is my employee whatever the variable name that you really want to write prototype which is equal to what an employee prototype which is equal to see this first of all that i really want to create a function for this particular employee prototype let's see function that i'm going to write here like this with the help of function keyword and then i really want to print that i don't want to return you can return also if you want to return and then here i'm writing that uh, whatever the name of that particular prototype that you really want to give or that particular employee that you really want to give you can print it here so for example i'm writing again backtick and then here let's see hello uh, employee name is something and then i'm writing a dollar and then these two curly braces and i'm writing this dot name here okay name i'll tell you how to supply that in some time but let's see this function is i'm giving a name of this function let's see uh, something here for example let's see print info something like this i have created let's see print info and then hello employee name is this one so let's see this is a prototype that i have uh, created here okay now what we are going to do now i'm going to use this object here you can say that object interface you can use it and then with the help of this object dot there is one method the create method is there and in this create method the prototype that you have created this employee prototype you can just simply supply it over here like this and then when you create the prototype of this it will create the object so here i'm creating what 
I'm creating the object with the help of this prototype. So for example, let's see here, I'm going to store it in some another variable. Let's see the variable name is uh, some, let's see, E1 variable, whatever. Okay. And now with the help of this E1, I can assign some name here. How to assign? See this dot name that we are already using it. So this dot name means, it means in this particular prototype, there is already one instance variable available. And in all the instance variable, you have to access with the help of this keyword here. So here I'm writing that this dot name, see it will automatically recognize even dot name that what do you want to enter? So let's see the employee name is once again, here I'm writing, let's see Naveen here. Well, let's write some different name. Let's see Tom here, right? So even dot name Tom. And now this print info will behave like what? It's a kind of function. So I can use this particular function or I can call this function. See this with the help of print info like this. Even dot print info, we can use it here like that. So in this particular prototype, how many variables we have? Like an instance variable, we have name and one function that we have created like print info here like this. So in that case, what will happen? Let's see, I'm going to run it. So press, let me clear it and then uh, let's run it again. And you can see that, uh, hello, the employee name is Tom here like that. Perfect. So this is also what the object dot create also you can use it here like this. Now I'm going to talk about the last one. There is another way of creating the object in JavaScript that is called using the factory functions. Okay. So here I'm writing using factory functions. What do you mean by factory function? So factory function is a special function that returns an object and it will allow you to create multiple instance of the object very easily. Okay, so this is called a factory function, which will return. So remember, this will return what? It will return an object. So I'll write returns an object always. Okay, so for example, factory function, I'm going to write it here with the help of this function. And then let's see, I really want to create some department or create employee or create person or whatever. So let's see, department is a class or of that particular class object that I really want to create in normal language, other languages like Java, C, we use it. Same thing here. I'm writing one factory here. Okay. A factory function here. So let's see here. I'm writing create department. Okay. Any name that you really want to write. And then you have to supply that for creating a department, how many variables that you need. So let's see here. I'm writing the department name and the head of the department department uh, name I'm writing. Let's say this is my uh, department name comma and let's see the head of the department or you can say the HOD okay of that particular department or manager of that particular department let's see like this in a specific uh, uh, university or something and then I'm going to write one return as I told you that it will always return an object return an object of what the object of the department and then you can initialize whatever the department name that you are passing same department name that you can use it over here. So for example, department name, this department name. Okay. Colon. And then whatever the department name that you are using it over here, you can just apply here. You don't need to use uh, this keyword here because here it is not representing any instance of the class. So here I'm writing, let's see the HOD, which is equal to what or HOD colon equal to or colon HOD that you have to write it here. So let's see these two variables that I have created. Now, just like this, if you really want to create a function also, that also you can create this, right? So let's see, I really want to uh, create a function. Let's see the function name is uh, same thing, print info function of that particular department or any function name, if you really want to write, you can create it here. So print info function. And here I am writing the department name is what? Whatever the, this dot department here I can use it here so see I'm writing this dot department here okay this dot department name or if you really want to print the HOD also that also we can write it here so department name is and let me write and HOD is what the HOD is again I'm writing a dollar curly braces and then here I'm writing this dot HOD here like that okay so here obviously we have to use this keyword here to access the department name here, but here we don't need to do that. 
This is just like we created in the first here, that name, age that we are defining. Same thing over here. Like this, we are defining, but generically, I'm not giving any hard-coded value. We will give the value when we start using it, when we start calling it. Now, how to use this? See, I'll come back here. And now I'm going to use this particular create department factory function here like this. And then I'm going to call it just passing two parameters, department name and the HOD. So let's see the department name is physics. Okay. In the physics departments. And then uh, who is the HOD? So let's see here. I'm writing HC Verma, something like this, any name that I'm writing it here. And then uh, I'm going to store it in some variable. Right. So for example, let's see, this is my constant variable. I'm writing department one, which is equal to this. So for the physics department, uh, HOD, HC Verma, and I'm going to create, let's see, one more department two. And the second department here, I'm writing, let's see, mathematics. Or let's see, maths here. And for the maths here, I'm writing, for example, some other name, let's see, RC Sharma, something like this, or any, whatever name that you really want to write, you can write it here. Okay. And then I really want to call what? The function also. Function means the print info, or let's write something, let's see, print. Or let's see, get department info. Okay, let's write some nice method name here. Get department info. Right. So how to call this? Now with the help of this department one dot get department info, you can call it here like this. And then again, department two dot get department info. Also, you can call it here like that. So what will happen because of this line number sixty five? Physics at HC Burma will be given to these two variables. And then it will be assigned it over here. It means this is actually creating the object. So this is creating the object in this object. I have two variables, department and HOD and one function that is get department info, which is doing some work here. So I'm passing physics and HC Verma here. It will return the entire object. I will assign the object with the help of this reference variable and whatever I really want to print, I can print it like department one dot department name. Also, I can use it. So let's see if I able to access. Uh, department one dot can i access the name see i can access the name here as well i can print it also on the console okay so i'm not printing it right now let me just run this program and let's see what exactly it's giving me the output so nice so here let me write first of all department name there's a spelling mistake let me run it again so i'll do one thing let's run it here and uh, See this department name is physics and the HOD is HC Verma. Department name is mathematics and the HOD is RC Sharma here like that. It's perfect. So this is also working fine. If you really want to print directly, let's see with the help of console dot a log. And then here I'm writing the department one. Okay. Department one dot a name that also you can use it. And let's see here I'm printing along with some space that department one dot HOD. That also you can print it directly on the console. So let's see. And here you can see that. Yeah, it's actually printing it. So actually department name, not let me quickly update it department name. Okay. So let's clear the console and let's run it again. You can see that. Yeah, it's printing complete output physics with HC Verma department name is physics and the HOD name is HC Verma here like that. Perfect. So this is also using the factory function. You can use it here like that. Okay. So remember one thing, whenever we create a class, don't get confused. Although I'll cover one more thing, how to create the class and objects, a special chapter. I'll create that. But whenever you create here, let's see this class that we have created, right? So these are called instance variable. I'll write it for you, for your reference that these are called instance variables. So how many instance variables that we are having it in the customer class? name and the product. So these name and the product are the instance variable. These are constructor variables. You can say a local variable like this. So how to access the instance variable with the help of this keyword. So this dot instance variable is equal to the local variable name. That is what we have given it here like this. Okay. So this is called instance variable. Okay. So that's all for uh, today. For That's all for this particular topic. I hope you like it. Please revise it. It's pretty simple. And remember the various ways of creating the object in JavaScript. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all guys.